Grill Sergeant here, what's going on Grill Billies? Today we're checking out the new Pit Boss Competition Series 1600. Let's start the show. For those who follow this channel and are wondering why does your backyard look different, me and the family just moved to San Antonio, Texas, and man oh man, we are blessed out of our minds. Pretty much thanks to viewers like you. What is this, a PBS commercial? From viewers like you, thank you. Starting on the outside of the smoker, you have a 26 pound hopper with a glass sight so you can actually see that you have pellets in the hopper. You have two shelves that are both they can fold down and out of the way if they're not in use. Uh, and the front one, it will lift up like this. And then to close it down, there are two levers underneath. You have ample storage space underneath the grill, and that's handy for if you either wanted to put some pellet bags. But my number one feature that I'm really liking is the way they designed this barrel lid. And with this, they actually put it pretty much on a hinge system. So when you open it up, the smoker barrel, you don't have to lift, you know, 50 pounds of metal pretty much over your head. It's pretty much just rolling design. And I actually like that a lot, that the lid actually doesn't lift up, but actually rolls back. Of course, it's gonna come with two meat probes, the paperwork on how to use that grill, but does anyone actually read the instruction manual? I mean, come on now. All you gotta do is just watch some YouTube videos and you're gonna be up and running. Down here at the very bottom, you do have three grates and then you have a middle grate and a top grate. Realistically, I see myself running this using the middle and bottom grate. There is enough clearance between the bottom grate and the middle grate if you wanted to put a pork butt or brisket in there. If I'm doing like a full barbecue and I wanna put some corn up on top, I pretty much, oh my God, there's a bug in my nose. I traded uh, airplanes for bugs in my nose. <laughs> now we're gonna empty the guts of the smoker and we're gonna see how this beast works. All right, now that we got the smoker emptied out, let's take a look under the hood. So down in the belly of the beast, this is where the magic happens. This is called your firebox. This is where the pellets are actually gonna drop through an auger from the hopper. They're gonna drop in here. At the very bottom, you do have a little igniter that's gonna get red hot at the start of the cook. That's going to actually build your fire and then there's going to be a fan system and that temperature is going to regulate itself based on the temperature you want on the control panel. It's a pain in the butt to access this if you wanted to clean it out. So what Pit Boss did is they actually made a clean out system underneath the smoker. And all you have to do is just slide this out. You can empty out the contents of the burn pot and then you can just slide it right back in and you have a fresh burn pot ready to go. From there you have the grease and drip system. And so how this works is all the grease and fat that is on your racks, that drips down onto this thing. It then takes it to the back of the smoker on this side and then empties out into a drip bucket in the back. So what I like what Pit Boss did here is this is how you would actually go ahead and if you were cooking some steaks, this is how you would actually sear some steaks is you'd pull this out and this now gives you direct access to the firebox. You're talking about a thousand degrees of heat and flame coming up here to put a nice sear on your steak. If you're doing cooking low and slow, you do not want this thing open. Uh, you basically wanna have it shut like that and then the heat is going to be even and dispersed. Next you have the porcelain enamel coated grates and you have one large center one and then you have two on the side. These are pretty beefy to help support whatever you're throwing on. Boom. I wonder how many briskets you could fit on this bad boy. And then lastly, you have the top. Great, just like that. All right, now we're on the hopper side and you do have a handle right here. So if you did wanna actually move it around your deck, you basically have a built-in handle in here. And then you have your power button right here. And then right when you basically press this, now this is actually gonna turn on 
and right when you turn it on it's going to do it at its lowest setting and that's going to help you actually build your smoke and then from there you can pretty much take your dial you can increase what temperature you want and this one goes all the way from either your smoke setting and then which is about 180 degrees all the way up to 500 degrees and if then you open up the actual burn pot uh, and you do the sear thing that gets up to like about a thousand degrees of flame that is crazy to set the temperature you basically press down and that will help you adjust and once you want the temperature you want oh that's beautiful it's going in five degree increments that's cool wow i'm actually really impressed at that well hey they call it competition series for a reason you know what i'm saying so that is pretty cool so now all i need to do is get some pellets in this bad boy do a burn off if you don't know what a burn off is that's basically getting all the residue and gunk that's on the inside you kind of have to bring it up to about 400 degrees run it for an hour and then once it's cooled off it's pretty much ready to go i will post a link to show you how to do a burn off it's pretty much a universal practice but you definitely want to do a burn off before you start using your new smoker now say you actually wanted to empty out the pellets that are in the hopper all it is is lifting and then pulling up and that is going to actually drop all the pellets out of the hopper and then to close it up lift it up and push it back down so what's the first thing i should smoke on this bad boy let me know in the comments and i'll catch you guys later